Hello and welcome to my channel. We are currently waiting on the press conference to take place at 3 p.m. I did just come across a news article with one of the girl's fathers and what he says I find interesting. So let's jump into it. They're telling us that there's so much evidence that it's going to take a lot of time to process it all. Um, this wasn't like a pinpoint crime. This person was sloppy. He did whatever. I want to say he obviously I, he can't say that. That's just me. But he, he made a mess and there's a mess there and they're going to have to go through that point by point and that's going to take a lot of time. That's why they reached out to other facilities to help them with that. So level. a few things that stood out to me was there's a lot of evidence. And then the fact that he was sloppy. Oh, it's not been determined if it's male or female. Most likely it's a male, but it could definitely be a female. This dad sounds very strong about it being a he and that he was sloppy. So what happened in this home with these five women and how did the other two sleep through it? Did they really sleep through it? Did they really not hear anything? So I thought that was just strange that the father is saying that there is a lot of evidence that they need to sort through. He also states that it was sloppy. So just to imagine what the inside looked like, it does look like they were very connected, very loving and caring and really enjoyed their friends and partying. And it's truly sad the way they had to end their beautiful life. So we'll wait and see what the update is in the press conference. I don't think it's going to be much. I don't think they're able to release a lot at this time. It's truly sad. And again, I will keep the family and the friends in my prayers. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Until next time.